Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to a brand new video on, st on this channel guys Today I'm gonna do uh, a lot of guys a lot of you guys has have, su have suggested me to do to show me up to the part two how to build a water slide in Roblox cuz you said the converting the converter is broken I don't know guys but I'm gonna show you that everything is fine and yeah before we get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button like my videos and turn on the notifications bell and let's just get started so I'm run right now in my water water slide building site like not in my water park guys it's gonna lag a lot so that's also a recommendation that I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys because um, it's gonna lag a lot if you have a lot of blocks and you know a lot of water slides in your water park then you want to build another one so in order to not to just to remove the lagging, just create a new base plate, cause then you can copy water slide and paste it into water park. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is actually uh, you need a plug the the, uh, the multiple plugins that I'm gonna link in the description below. So the first thing we have this uh, tabs right here. We're gonna click on select. Then you're gonna get this block right there, as you can see. Just drag it onto here. Drag it here. And after that, you can also click on home, rotate, and then rotate it like that. Now, if you wonder what what side, what what the direction the slide tar track is gonna go, you can look closely to this yellow circle block blocks. Because as you may know, as you see, they are point, they are sitting here. That means that the track is gonna go this way. So when you're done with that, you're just gonna drag it like that. Measure the height of it. How 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 tall do you want it to be? Then after that, you're gonna click on plugins, and you're gonna tap on this one. You're gonna click on move axis, and you're gonna that click as many times until you get the red block. Select it, and then you're gonna drag it down. This is how you make a hill, for example. You you choose, just make like a normal, normal hill, or the normal normal drop if you want to call it that, like a pre-drop. Then we, when you want to add another block, another track, just click here, add to end. Then you should get another block. Then you're going to click on rotate pivot. And then you're going to just start making turns, you know, turn left, whatever. Just try to make it as smooth as possible. Today I'm going to go with the raft slide actually because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, before I, I think last time I showed you with normal... Uh, normal uh, tubes you know now, now it's a raft slide raft like four seats like a huge slide here we have it like that we can gonna add to end again uh, let's make it turn on one more time and then if you want to you can turn it right right now rotate pirate pivot as you can see here, and like that, and like that, and you see down. Okay, this is a, a, only a tutorial, so I'm not gonna show, build a whole water slide. This is all of it, okay? It's gonna go like that, like that. And if you want to smooth it a bit, it's good to smooth it, otherwise, the boat can crash or something. I don't know. Uh, just drag, click on the white blocks, and then you're gonna drag it to right in order to make it smoother. As you can see, this doesn't look perfect. It, uh, it does it? You see, so you have to. You have to make sure that you have to make it look better. If you understand me. Okay, and then click on Add to End again, and this is the end. Okay, let's just drag it down like that. Okay, that's enough, guys. After you're done with your water with your with your track, just click on this button button that that is called Compile. And as you saw, it come white blocks around the track now. So now just click on View, Explorer, search for New Coaster, New Roller Coaster, drag it to the Starter Pack, and then you have it right here. So now you only need the, the converter that I'm gonna link in the description below as well. So what you're gonna do right now is that you're gonna stand right here, here at the beginning of the slide. Then you're gonna click on this. The, below the play button, click on the arrow and then play here and wait for it to load
okay guys and when you when it has loaded you can just you have these two converters you see and you also have the tp tool that i recommend using that as well just you can just find it in the toolbox it'd be easier if in case you fall down you can just teleport yourself back here okay click on two and you may see that this the, the, it, it marks like red lines uh, between like around the block just click on it and as you can see we're starting to to add block is to hide, add the slide you know to the build the slide we are converting the slide right now just keep going like that it's okay if you, if you accidentally miss the first block but it's not so good because if you do like that it may not be as smooth as possible it's, it might not be, be as smooth as you may think so you have to be careful when you build when you convert the slide just concentrate okay and don't worry about this space from the slide you know this uh, holes that's not our fault that's the convert that's the roblox that because they do like that you can't like help that but that's okay that's no problem because they both won't crash or something just because of that holes just keep pressing the buttons here the blocks like that and the last block was added now guys when you're finally done when co at converting don't do not exit out of the test mode do not click on stop because otherwise it will not save it will just remove everything so what you're gonna do right now is that you're gonna click on view first you're gonna click on move then you're gonna mark all this uh, the whole slide that you built that you converted mark it then click on view explorer and control g in order to make it in a group then rename it to for example new blue slide and then click on copy again for to make sure then you can just exit out of the test test mode because now let me show you as you may see the slide is not even here that's why you have to copy it so now just remove this one delete and then right click click on paste and there you have it guys here's the slide you that I have built well, not the best slide though <laughs> so what you're gonna do right now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna use just search for like a conveyor or something like this one that have you have we have built for example you can use ours as well just drag it onto here and drag it here like that as you can see here we have to measure it like that make it like that smooth and like that now I'm not sure if I if I took the conveyor with me, the invisible conveyor, I think I did though. Yes, I did. Okay, guys, now we're finally done, hopefully. Let me see. Now, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna stay here and then you're gonna click play here again. And you're good to test your slide for the first time. So as you can see this only took me like 8 minutes or 9 minutes to build or no, no because I talked a bit as well but okay let me test run it 1 2 3 it works we you see guys we it was quite nice wow I loved it actually quite sure but yeah that's actually how you build a water slide in Robux guys so yeah, there you go, the part 2, the updated version, how to build a water slide in Roblox. Yeah guys, but that's all for this tutorial. If you liked it and if it helped you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, like my videos, comment down below what I should do next, what tutorial, and see you in a couple of days. Goodbye.